What was important in this conference, it's uh, one of the attempts from the humanitarian community to effectively reach out to less traditional partners uh, from business partners, uh, a regional uh, organization uh, to, to make sure and, and also of course uh, civil societies and communities uh, to make sure that uh, you know we don't work in a vacuum and uh, that what the work we do, the way we plan ourselves, the reflection that took place over the last three days actually are not do done just between the international humanitarian organization but also with this with these uh, with these partners um, it is sometimes a challenge uh, because it's not easy always to engage with the private sector or even with governments and and, and local authorities uh, they all have you know thousands of uh, activities engagement that they go on and humanitarian uh, quite often uh, people are paying attention to humanitarian at the last minute when the crisis is done and the type of work that is done now upstream in, term, in terms of partnership is actually helping also in organizing ourselves, in preparing ourselves that when a crisis arrives, a disaster arrives, the response is more effective. The response is also organized in a more collaborative way. We hear better the voice of the communities, we hear better what are the concerns, what are the needs and we don't come just with paper and tick box and we say you have a school, you don't have a school, you have a blanket, you don't have and we just materialized. I think uh, one of the words in fact that was put in the conclusion of that conference is really that, is to get the, the, the humanitarian response a bit out of the supply side uh, of it and to use the partnership in fact also to to, to get the people on the ground to be part of the response. This uh, uh, humanitarian partnership conference was organized uh, uh, in partnership with OCHA, uh, IAWG, Save the Children and uh, World Vision. And, and it, the theme that were discussed, three of them were very much aligned with the World Humanitarian Summit. So we will use the recommendations that, are, that, are, that have been discussed. IAWG is a member of the regional steering group for Eastern Africa. Uh, so they will directly put the input in the initial paper that will then be discussed on the 27th to the 29th of October 2014.